Brisbane with Rosalie Furler from the Sunshine Coast, Queensland, Australia. Hey, welcome to another great day. And welcome to the church on the beach. I'm so excited about being down here this morning. I'm so excited about the sunrise that's beginning to appear. I just really wish that you were down here with us. I'm so glad that you're part of the church on the beach. I want you to take your shoes off and just paddle a while and listen to the Word of God. We want to begin a new series today that will inspire you and encourage you. So we call it, Who Are You and What Do You Say About Yourself? Think about it. Who are you and what do you say about yourself? want to lay a foundation by taking a passage from the Gospel of John chapter 1 verses 19 to 23. Now this is a testimony of John when the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him who are you? He confessed and did not deny but confessed I am not the Christ and they asked him what then, are you Elijah? He said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, no. Then they said to him, Who are you that we may give an answer to those who sent us? What do you say about yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord, as the prophet Isaiah said. God knows who you are, and the devil knows who you are. But do you know who you are and what do you say about yourself? It's so peaceful here and the heavens certainly are declaring the glory of God. We pray today that our eyes are open to behold wonderful things from the word of God. If God quickens the Word of God to us by His Spirit and our eyes are open to it, our heart understands, it just changes our life forever. An easy scripture to remember is in Deuteronomy chapter 29 and verse 29. The secret things belong to the Lord our God, but those things which are revealed belong to us and to our children forever that we may do all the words of this law. The Apostle Peter had a revelation of who Jesus was, changed his life forever. In Matthew 16, verses 13 to 17, when Jesus came to the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? So they said, Some say John the Baptist, some Elijah, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Peter answered and said, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to Peter, You are blessed, Peter, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. The natural man cannot understand the things of God. It's only when God, by the power of the Holy Spirit, opens our eyes and revelation is poured into our heart. That can change our life. So when John the Baptist was preaching repentance and the kingdom of God down by the river Jordan, and people came from everywhere to hear and see what he was doing. And they were baptized by him. He was having a one-man revival there. Getting the attention of the priests and the Levites way back in Jerusalem. who come to find out who he was. He knew who he was in God. We have to know also who we are in God. And John had this testimony. I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord. We also need to know who we are. We also need to have a testimony. Revelation 12:11, And they overcame him, that is the devil, by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, 
and did not love their lives even unto death. Jesus said that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. We pray that God will really quicken his word to you, make it alive to you, let it jump in your heart. That word will change your life forever. Let's walk in the light of that revealed word that God has given us. Hey, look at this serpent. This is so amazing. He's just come down in front of the camera and begins to walk in the light. Proverbs 4.18 says, The path of the just, that is, those who are justified before God, gets brighter and brighter, even under the perfect day. We've been laying a foundation for this study. Thanks for clicking on, and let's continue on next time. God bless you.